what's our get ahead approach with what we're trying to do, right? We're really trying to, in first pitches, we're trying to attack in the zone. We're not trying to attack the edges of the plate, right? When I'm in an O account, I'm trying to get ahead as much as I can. Within the first three pitches, the goal is really to be at two strikes or to have recorded an out. What does a pitcher have to know in those situations? Well, he needs to know what he can throw in the zone to get ahead. Catro set up not on the edges, but more thirds. We'll have guys set up right down the middle. Oh, oh, sometimes. 1-0 oh is an 820 OPS. 0-1 oh was 611. 0-2 oh is a 449 OPS, you know. 2-1 and one is an 802 OPS. I mean, you just, after one and two counts, it was a 501, you know, versus 802. It sounds simple, and I know it's, it's easier said than done. I fully understand that. Trusting our stuff, especially early in the count, to get us in positive counts is really important. This is an OO fastball strike. Catcher set up, and, you know, like what you can see, this catcher is not necessarily setting up on, you know, on the edges. If the pitcher hits the catcher in the chest and it's off the plate and it's a ball, He's setting up too far outside. And you can see it's just right down Broadway. Boom, there's strike one. Look, I understand different hitters, and it's not always going to be a fastball down the middle, obviously, right? And it's going to be the ability to throw a changeup, throw a curveball for a strike, be able to mix up your OO pitches to get ahead. But just the importance, again, going back of really understanding, you know, what we have to do to get ahead and how important that is. Pitching 2-0, and 2-1, and 1-0, and 3-1. and you know, if we're doing that because, you know, hey, we're trying to attack the zone, that's one thing. But if we're doing that because we're trying to work the edges of the zone and we're having a hard time commanding the ball, challenging hitters in the zone, we're going to find ourselves in counts when we're behind. There's no doubt about it. We're going to find ourselves in 1-0 counts and 2-1 counts and 2-0 counts and 3-1 counts. And, you know, a lot of times that 3-1, 3-0s, it's because the on-base percentage is higher when he's in these counts is the hitter's trying to do damage. We're trying to cheat fastballs middle middle in hitters counts to do damage with the, the data that we have that generally has an overall higher swing percentage when the, when when the pitcher is behind in the count believe it or not the hitters actually swing at more pitches versus in the early counts the, the swing percentages are actually lower that gives us an even more you know more of, of a sense of that but this is where the ability to throw off speed pitches for strikes become very important especially at the higher levels when hitters are really trying to sit on fastballs in those counts. And you can see that, you know, they do a lot more damage in those counts when, you know, here's an example of a guy throwing a, a 1-0 slider strike because, you know, that hitter's looking to do damage on a fastball middle. So I would challenge your pitchers and ask yourself, can he throw an off-speed pitch for a strike, not always a chase, but for a strike in when, when he is behind in the count? Because that can be a great equalizer two strike approaches here and we're doing put away and two strike approaches right? we need to be able to know our out pitches right what pitch is most likely to put away in that bat in o2 counts and one two counts and two two counts you can see obviously when we're ahead usually it's in our favor in two two counts you know that has the third lowest ops in two two counts right so that two two count is still a pitcher's count right i know a lot of times we have a fear of getting into a three two count but that two two count is really a, a count where we got to understand we can challenge hitters. It's the third lowest OPS against in the big leagues last year. A lot of times, you know, really the vertical game can work well when you're doing this with two strikes, you know, fastballs up, breaking balls down. What we see a lot of times with guys is they get into like kind of this O2 trap where we get into an O2 count and, you know, we're trying to, we miss by five feet above the catcher. Or we bounce our curveball 57 feet. Right. And then all of a sudden we look up and we're it's three and two. Right. And so the ability to practice your two strike pitches is important. Right. Practicing your get ahead pitches, practicing what you're going to do when you're behind. And then the ability to practice those pitches when we're putting hitters away is something that is important. Right. Like if you just practice one high fastball and say, I'm done with my bullpen, you might have in a game six, seven, eight opportunities with two strikes where you might want to use that pitch, you know, and, and have you practice that. East and West, a lot of times it's going to be more takes, right? If he was trying to throw it that high, here's a high fastball swing and miss, right? This is a little high fastball. It's clearly got a hopping fastball. He's got some velo. You know, you can see that it's above the barrel. Looking like another option, the ability to throw a two-strike little slider under the zone, get your check swing. That's a pitch that, you know, looks like it's in the zone for a while and then dives to the bottom, 
right? That, that vertical approach will, you know, definitely kind of plays a factor when you're dealing with how to put guys away, right? And you can look at the zone. The zone is really more north and south, especially with what we're trying to deal with there. 